All right, we've got Avermedia's Live Gamer Portable 2. Um, we're going to go through some initial setup of um, PC free mode. All right, so let's take a look. Um, on the left, you're going to see some uh, 3.5 millimeter um, audio jacks. These are the kind that's not just for stereo, it's the, it's the kind that has the microphone as well. So they're four segments with three stripes, but we'll go into that later. Um, the middle button here is for um, uh, the sound level for just your microphone. And on the right, you have a toggle switch. Far left is PC mode, like if you're going to use OBS or in Windows, I think Recording Central or Rec Central. Uh, but we're not going to do that. The middle position is PC free mode, so you don't have to have a computer. And the mode on the right is like you put it in USB mode. So that way it's kind of like just a uh, USB thumb drive. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to go to Evermedia's uh, website and download some stuff. So in the search, you're going to do LGP2. Not LGP22. There you go. And depending on the model you have, you want to click on one of these things. I have just the non plus one, so it's the GC510. We're going to click on that, and that's what it looks like. I love this part right here. Don't do this thing that lets you bypass copy protection. Wink, wink. All right, what we're going to do is going to go to downloads, and you're going to see how there's all sorts of stuff here. Um, if you're on Windows, you can use this. This is in place of OBS. But the two things that you really want are the firmware and the utility, which is the, the way to change some of the settings. You absolutely have to do this for the firmware you recommend. I recommend doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and download that, but we're not going to do it. So in the downloads area, you'll see that it makes a folder called Update and LG. P2 pin bin and to use that all you have to do is take that entire folder you know copy it and you're going to put it on the SD card and paste and at this point you literally follow the directions that they have on here right so you can see how it's basically so we've done the copy right then you basically um, just, if it's already unplugged, that's fine. You plug the micro SD card into the thing and then you just plug it in just to power it up and you don't do jack with it. Basically don't mess with it. And it's going to go blinky, blinky, blinky. She showed that it's updating. And then after it's done, it's just going to turn off. When it's turned off, here's an important part. A lot of these firmware updates are supposed to remove the firmware update file. But at this point, once it's done, um, don't plug it, don't do number step five yet. On step four, after it's finished going off, you want to come back, put your micro SD card back in it, take that file, and um, delete it. Otherwise, what's going to happen is that it's going to keep um, going over it, over trying to update it over and over. Uh, you don't want that. Um, so then your firmware is updated. Utility, this is what we need to have just to set some of the initial settings. So you're gonna go ahead and download that little disk icon here. And I know this is 2016, it's kind of old, but it still works. Let's see, where's my cursor, there it is. Download, it's this LGP2 app. Yes, you're gonna open it. Oh, we gotta connect it first. So hang on one second while I connect it. All right, went ahead and took a standard micro USB cable and this is the back of the unit. You can see it's right next to the, um, the two HDMI ports, you know, one for in and one for out. So now what you're going to do is, after you plug in, you'll see that there's there's power, right? And the other thing you want to do to get this next step set up is, remember that switch we talked about, that toggle switch? You're going to want to push that all the way to the left to put it in PC mode. That way it'll talk to your computer um, and not be by itself or be in the USB thumb drive mode. So push that that right toggle switch all the way to the left. And now, you can go ahead and run that, that tool that you downloaded. Uh, there it is. So you see that, no, let me get the focus on. So all this thing does is change the um, um, audio kind of mixer, 
when you're connecting to your using the um, the software like OBS or whatever directly, you can change that there. But here, this is like if you're operating without a PC, right? So you gotta save these settings. So um, you can see that for the HDMI controller input, I have um, one volume set. I guess I guess the volume set at like this level headphones this is where the party chat comes in this headphone part HDMI is the digital stuff it's the audio channel from your HDMI cable but this is going to be important this one is is what's going to set the volume of what you hear in the headphones that's what you can connect to the PSVR and we'll see a little bit and this is from that external microphone that you're going to have um, recording quality you want it to be um, good you don't want it to be optimal actually Wait a second. Normal? No, we don't want normal. We want optimal. Oh, that's right. Optimal is the very best. So I had it right. Um, and then this one, HDCP, I can talk about this some other time, but I've not noticed a difference in either one of these. But um, go ahead and make it on this one just in case. So you can see this is the firmware version. Remember, the latest version is actually 3.0.0.15 as of May 18th. Um, but I'm keeping this one because it's working just fine. Um, so once you have these settings set, all you have to do is just exit out, and it'll go ahead and save to your to your device anyway, so you don't have to do anything else. All right. So the other thing about the SD card, the SD card that you have, um, here's a a 64 gig that card that I have. Uh, that I'm using and the 64 gig is going to record Probably a couple of hours. I don't know a really long time. So it'll support 120 gig cards um, Which is fine um, But either way the way for this to work is that you have to format it fat 32 if you don't know how to do that Google um, how to format I guess SD cards fat 32 on a Mac what you do is you select your your media here and you do I guess you can do um, you can do erase and you want to make sure you choose fat and then I'll go ahead and format it as fat32 so if it reads something else you may have a problem other than fat32 then you simply take that card and you put it in put it in the back right over here and then you're done alright now we're gonna go ahead and plug the cables in uh, on the PlayStation. All right, here it is. Um, right now it's red. Red means it's not ready, but let's go over how it's plugged in. Um, we've got the HDMI cable that would normally go to the TV. Actually, that does go to the TV. The HDMI cable from the PlayStation that would normally go to the TV, not to the breakout box. This is the one that would have gone to the TV. Here's the micro USB cable for power. Here's the uh, micro SD card that I don't have plugged in yet, and I'll show you why in a little bit. In the front, you're gonna have your dedicated headphones because of the stupid way the PlayStation um, microphone works. So this is a dedicated microphone just for recording. You're gonna go ahead and plug that into that port on the right. And then this cord, this is a cord that goes all the way down. Hey dog all the way to the splitter that you're going to have that goes to your PlayStation. So this is your the headphone that you're actually going to listen to. This is that cable that goes to the left. All right? And obviously you need a splitter. All right, one thing about audio cables. Every audio cable that you use needs to have four segments. You'll see that there's three stripes, right? So you have left, right, microphone, and ground. If you have two segments, I'm sorry, two stripes and three segments, you're not getting a microphone and things are gonna sound weird. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. So that red happens when it's not um, ready to record. So even though I have the PlayStation ready, it's not ready to record because of two reasons. Um, actually, right now it's for one reason, because I don't have the micro SD card plugged in. If I have the micro SD card plugged in, but no signal, it'll also show red. So first of all, let's go ahead and plug in our microphone, right? I'm 
most importantly, we're going to go ahead and push that, push that in. And as soon as we push it in, it's going to show blue. So now it's ready to record. One thing important is that remember this whole thing is about PC free mode. So make sure that this toggle switch is in the middle position. Not on the left where it's PC, where you use OBS and other software. Not on the right because that's USB thumb drive mode, but in the middle position. And remember this, this volume button, this is only for adjusting your microphone. There it is. So, so see what your microphone sounds like. If it's too loud, crank it down. If you make this, if you try to do this too low, red means it's mute. So you're gonna press it one more time. So that means it's the lowest level without it being completely off. And otherwise, I think that's it. Wolf. Wolf. All right, hope this helps.